Hi everyone, good morning. Um, I'm going to uh, do a little touch up on a uh, scanned print. So uh, what you need is a Photoshop, as you can see here. Uh, this one is, let's see, about Photoshop, system info. Um, well, it doesn't really say which one it is, but it's uh, it's an old one. You don't need to have those monthly uh, monthly uh, membership fees. Just buy a real old uh, Photoshop. They're all the same pretty much. So what we do is open a file, and we're going to look for our scan file. So I'm going to go to my... There we are, our files. And this is the one I just... See that? This is a scanner um, print. So this is the painting. Now up here, if you can see my little cursor here, you have a crop tool. You click on the crop tool, and all of a sudden you see these little adjusting bars all around the image. Now all you have to do is pull them down. I like to um, just be a little over the edge because the edges are a little darker than the whole picture so when you have that you double click on the crop tool again up here double click it says crop the image and we say crop so that's the first thing you have to do so that was pretty easy now if you're going to do this scan one of your uh, paintings uh, and get it all ready and then just and watch this video and you can pause it every step I, I go you can pause it now to get rid of the lines all you have to do is go up here to the uh, selection tool now we have the uh, the print and as you can see you can make it bigger or smaller I do that with the little wheel on my mouse but you can in the uh, adjustments you can uh, control panel you can just adjust just do about anything but the wheel for me is bigger and smaller so now when we zoom in we see all these little dots whoops if you want to move this what you do is you click on the space bar and then a little hand appears and then you can just move it on see that now look how ugly this is and I am really enlarging it as you can see up here 305 percent but we want to clean this up just a little bit because if you're selling prints you want to have pretty clean prints so all you have to do is up here you have a clone stamp and a pattern stamp but you get the clone stamp and you press your alt key so this one is pretty big so I'll just do this green spot here what I want is this color where my little cursor is now I want that on top of that so all I have to do is place it here press the alt key and click left and then it just sort of stamps it see that and it's gone gone but this one as you can see while I'm hovering above it that's not gonna work because if I do that I'll do it right now click see that it has taken this part and put it on top so control alt Z is undo and this time you want to get on the side of it press the alt click and now you can shove it over see that so it's really easy to just clone next to it or above it or below it for this one I'll have to do it above so I hover above, click Alt, and I click the left mouse button, and then I can just get rid of the spots I don't like. Now this is this is pretty uh, pretty big. Up here, do another one. Alt, click, put it over. See that? Nothing more to be seen. Click, 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 and once you get a hang of this. You don't even have to look at the keyboard anymore. You just have your finger hovering above the Alt key. And 
all you do is just reposition the little round thing here. Like if I were to do this one, I would like to have this little bit. So it's Alt click and you have it. Alt click, click, click. And you just go, oops, no, we want this bit. You just go all around and you fix up your print. See that? Okay, it's a lot of work, but you gotta um, you gotta remember that this is a print, and that's it. The final thing is gonna be what you're gonna be selling. So it's important that you make it very clean and very uh, crispy, and then uh, it's a lot of work, but in the end you get something really nice. Okay, now what I see here, can you see that? There's something on the uh, scan that breaks the line. So we do that again. So we stand in the middle of the line. We do an Alt click and we just shove it through. And you got to watch out because there it goes. And we got to take this one. Nope, that one. And we're going to pull that line straight through. At least it's better than uh, not doing anything. And then uh, here we have the same thing going on. So I'm going to make that thing a little bit bigger. Alt. Click. There we go. Now if you want to do it really perfectly, you go up here to your little paint tool. And we're going to get a brush that is very, very tiny. I'd say like three pixels. We'll take that one. Yep. Then we go here to our colors. We take the white. Okay. Then we zoom right in. And we're going to just paint through it. Just make it a little bit more white. And when we zoom out, you can see that the line is pulled through. I need a round, round one. See, if this is too big for you, which it is, all you have to do is use the close and open brackets to make them smaller. And that way, see that? We're making sure that line is going to be following through. You do want to have the opacity up high so that it's really white. There we go. Normally I'd get another brush right now, but this will work. Okay. Now the lines we've taken care of. Oh no, here's another one that didn't really come through a lot. And maybe here was one. I'm not sure. But that looks better. Now this bit here isn't really flowing so I take my smudge finger tool, make that smaller and put the strength up a little higher and just pull it through like that. Now if we zoom out you'll see that it is totally disappeared into the background and that's about the same we're going to do here. Let's see, do we have any more? Here's one. And here we need a little bit of white, so we go back to the paintbrush tool. And we're going to add a little bit of white there, because otherwise it's standing out a little bit. There it is. Okay. So that's about what you do with um, all those dots. So you would go a little bit further. Stamp tool. Make it a little bit smaller with the brackets. Step next to it. Click. And just brush it away. Now these little ones that you see here, you could take the smudge tool, the little smudgy finger tool, and you could do this if you want to. 
but this is a lot of work if you're going to do it like this because you have to really make sure that everything is pretty much smoothed out and if you do this too much you will see it in the end result so that's why normally I would rather use a stamp tool the clone tool because it keeps the uh, everything you see on the uh, on the monitor you the, it keeps it intact and this is more smudgy but you can do this also use both okay just a few more see that how nicely that really fades into the background so that's what you would do with the print now putting a, um, a border around is very easy all you have to do is come up here you go to your image go to your image size you leave that go to canvas size click on it and you get a little pop-up window now what I'd like to have is a, a sort of a blue border so you have white black gray and other you click on other and here you have your colors but what I want is something that's in the painting so I click on a part that I think is a pretty blue with my little eyedropper click see that then I want it a little bit darker okay now here I see my new color and I have here in centimeters but you can also do pixels so we'll do 50 pixels by 50 pixels they have to both be the same or you won't get the, the, the same border and we say OK so we have a border now we do the same thing canvas size but this time we're, we are going to take white and we're going to say 5 centimeters around OK and there we have a nice little border that's kind of cool right I like it now if you were to want to sign it and uh, it's up to you where you want to do that what I do is add a layer up here new layer say okay we don't have to name it because it's not going to be that complicated then I go to the text tool and I put it under here now that is some big letters so I'm gonna choose for a let's see uh, 18 no nah, that's too ah, well maybe this is better for you to see so I'm gonna change my color to uh, black okay and then I'm gonna type my name and Marie now there's two ways you can do this you can do this um, you select it and then you can put it in here but if I were to put it in a painting in a print what I do is select the text tool again oops that is not good you have to get rid of that layer that happens sometimes delete layer yes okay back to text and this time I'm gonna take white there we go because I'm going to teach you guys how to do a watermark so say that you want to watermark something because you're going to put it on um, Facebook so do it bigger that's the name put it smack in the middle and now here on the right hand side you have the opacity and if you click on opacity and you were to take it way back now you can see that my name is very lightly printed over my painting so that's how you can watermark your painting and you can make it as bold see that's white and you can make it very light but you know it's up to you if you want to watermark something <clears throat> I'm gonna take it back I am going to Go back to my text tool and go back to smaller letters and there we go you can put it there or like I would do put it down here 
Only we need then we need the black letters. Oops, didn't select it. Text. Black. Okay. Ooh, I missed the F. Rid a hop. There we go. So you can do that. And then I'd add the uh, year. That's kind of cute. Maybe the, uh, this is too big. We can always take it down a notch. Put it on 10. There we go. Smack in the middle. Just put it. I, I like to put it on the side here. Okay. There it is. And officially it's ready to print. So we can print this as is. Or you can come up here, go to image, go to adjustments. Let's just flatten this whole thing first. Flatten image. Now you can't do anything with the text anymore, but you can do adjustments on the image. And first off, you could do vibrance, just a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more saturation. Okay, see that? That makes it pop right away. Now you go to image, go to adjustments, go to contrast and brightness, a little more contrast. Maybe a little bit more brightness. That's it. And here it is, ready to go. Okay, guys, that was easy. I could go on for a bit, but then it gets all confusing and too much stuff. So what we use today is the crop tool to get a nice clean cut of the image. Then we have um, the smudge tool and the clone stamp to fix up all those little holes that you have in your print just to make it just that little bit more clean. I think for prints that is the thing to do. Uh, then we did use the text tool to put our name on there and I showed you how to do a watermark. That's when you use white and you change the opacity and uh, that's about it. So um, we're going to save this one. Save as and I'm going to put it in my printer folder because I'm going to be sending it to the printer maybe. And I'll call it print4. Gonna do that. See that? The file is 3.7 MB big. Okay. And that's it. Thanks all for watching. See you in a bit.